Okay, Sunday morning, about nine o'clock, and I am in pain. My shoulders hurt, my back hurt, my units hurt, <laughs> everything hurts. So, me and Jamer are trying to unload this trailer. If you ever have to wrestle a six by six post by yourself and you cannot pick it up and it's on a trailer or a somewhat flat surface, maybe gravel, I wanna show you a trick that I use myself to get them off of the trailer. Now, is it necessarily the safest thing? No, but it does work and you have to be careful because you don't wanna knock your teeth out. Teeth are important or a chain something that's got a you know hook on it or a claw I don't know what you call this but this is a this is a strap for like strapping down loads on the back of a truck like a big truck so And there you go. That's how you unload six by sixes off the trailer. Yeah, it's still a little work, but you don't have a lot of the stress on your back, you know, and stuff like that. So I thought I'd show you guys my little trick. A little gold nugget of information for you guys. If you have tiki torches that you don't use anymore and they're kind of, you know, kind of raggedy, break the basket off that goes around the torch area here where you're just left with these forks and they're perfect for like hot dogs uh mushroom or mushrooms <laughs> hey dad can i put some shrooms on the grill no son <laughs> hot dogs uh marshmallows anything you can put on a stick roast it and eat it these work excellent plus if you want to do like shish kebabs and stuff like that these things are awesome i save them any chance i get so Voila. Okay, so here is the original deck. As you can see how just crazy crooked it was. <laughs> Those poor legs. Jamie, where are you going? Hey. Jamie, get over here. Why you always got to be up in my mix? Huh? Get over here, goofball. Come on, get over here. Come on. See how good she listens? Come on, get over here. Go back out here and play. Hey, no. Arr. Get over here. Go that way. Go do dog stuff over there. So anyway, I'm gonna to take down these steps and slowly start dismantling this deck. So time to get after it. So here we go. I've got all the top decking off. I've got the stairs removed. And you can see, I'm just surprised this deck <clears throat> had not fallen down sooner. As soon as I took off the top decking over here, this fell down. And you can see where it's broken. It's broken on the other side. But I found a good little frog buddy. He ain't moving. After all the beating and banging that I've done. 
Wake up, dude. He's breathing. So, he's just hanging out. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's thinking. But yeah, the whole time I've been beating here, he's just been hanging out. So, I'm going to have to move him because... I'm going to start taking down this stuff. And I've pulled out every single nail out of the decking and saving it. Well, not saving it, but just not let it hit on the ground. I've got it just kind of sitting over here with my tomato plant. And maybe I'll grow new nails. You remember those garlics that I planted the other day? Check them out. They are digging the dirt. So that's cool. I have to get some more topsoil and put in there. But yeah, cool. The tomato plant looks like he's doing okay. Let's walk over here and look at the squish and the watermelon. Oh, no, it looks like the squish are getting bigger. And the watermelon. Uh oh. What's been digging? Oh man, I got a watermelon that's dead. Check him out. Something happened to him. Man down, man down. I wonder if that raccoon's been over here digging. Well, five watermelon plants. I'm hoping they do something, but look, I didn't pay no attention. That little dude's been over here too. Oh, so I got one, two, I got six, six squish plants. They got yellow leaves, so I know the soil's not too dry. Maybe it's too much water. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and take down the rest of the deck. Do a little raking and start making my my lines trying to figure out where my six by sixes are gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna dig any post holes today. It's getting kind of late, but I do want to get this taken down. So here we go. I got to thinking. I got this on the ground and structurally yeah, it's in fairly good shape. All I need to do really is switch out this inboard here on each side and uh, I can use the bones I think I might take this to the back side to the back door and put this up on some posts and make this the back door patio I think I do that because now the deck boards aren't any good but I ain't worried about the deck boards I'll just clean this real good pressure wash it get some new deck boards and a couple new 4x4 posts and back door porch
out of breath <laughs> or uh jamie is too which i don't understand she's got a nice comfy rug over here but yeah she wants to be right here so here's my progress so far and let me tell you a treated six by six 16 foot long it's like wrestling a five-armed bear <laughs> they are heavy some are heavier than others knowing my luck i got the ones that were the most saturated with the treatment which makes them a whole lot heavier stuff's like stupid ridiculous heavy so here i am trying to slide this one in the hole and when i get that done i'm going to take that back to the tin put it up to about to where these old boards are and go ahead and uh toe nail it into the back which i should have probably put this together on the ground before i lifted it up but uh, story of my life so now i'm gonna have to try to make it work because i'm not gonna take that out of the hole again and, and go through the whole leveling process i'll just figure it out so okay pole number two is in the ground it's not necessarily completely level at the top which that doesn't matter i'm just getting really kind of stupid picky uh because majority of that's probably gonna get cut off anyway but there's a couple things i did forget i forgot to put gravel in the bottom of this hole just one scoop out of a shovel i totally forgot to do that and it's kind of aggravating me I tried pulling the pole back out of the ground, and since there's so much clay in the dirt, once it sits and it doesn't move for a little bit, I ain't getting it back out. So I'm just like, F it. So I got it as close as I could to being the same distance, you know, to the trailer. It's not perfect, but you know, what can one guy do with, you know, six by sixes <laughs> i think i got close you know but it is what it is you know but i got them anchored they're fairly level as my dad would say it's close enough for government work if i go over here that's close enough for government work and right here close enough for got my work so i am spent y'all so i think what i'm gonna do is uh, i don't know if i should go ahead and put concrete in these holes or not i'm kind of i don't know I think I'm, I'm going to try to get that 2 by 10 mount to the back and then re-check everything, make it sure it's all square. Then I think I might go ahead and put the concrete in it. But this goes to show you folks, I mean, if you don't know how to do something, you're seeing here firsthand. I'm just a guy. I've not built a deck. I'm just jumping in and doing it, man. And that's where you learn. And if I screw up and the deck turns out like crap... I guarantee you the next time I build a deck, it won't, I won't make the same mistakes. But I'm trying to take my time. But just don't be scared to do stuff, you know? As long as you don't let a 6x6 six six fall on your head and nag you into the ground, you be okay. <sighs> okay, let's get this, uh, this board mounting. Now here's something else I want to show you guys. If you go to build anything out of tree at lumber, you got to get screws for treated lumber because the regular galvanized screws there will be some type of chemical reaction inside that treated lumber and the screws will rot out over a period of time so make sure you get the screws for treated lumber <sighs> you know what sucks worse than digging post holes i'll show you digging a digging a post hole and you got a big root that goes perfectly diagonal that i've been fighting with for the last hour to get out <sighs> goodness it sucks a lot <laughs> it 
So that's all the progress I've made. I smell a sewer or something stinky. I wonder if it's this old stinky clay. I don't know. Well, hopefully they go away. Or it might be me stinking. <sighs> it is 9.45 and I'm calling her quits for tonight. You see I got the posts in the ground, no concrete yet. It's still not square, so hopefully my buddy, he'll come over tomorrow and help me get it squared up. My main goal is getting the posts in the ground and uh, we can use pry bars or two by fours to kind of scoot it left or right to, you know, get it where we need it. So, it's gonna be quite a bit of room. Well, not a lot, but it'll be probably 30% bigger than what I had. I'll actually have room to, you know, kind of sit and chill on it. And Jamie can walk around a little bit, so it'd definitely be an upgrade. Anyways, I'm out guys, till the next video.